using price levels in QuickBooks. A price level is an easy way to assign special rates to either a select customer or a select job. They are available in QuickBooks Pro, QuickBooks Premier, and QuickBooks Enterprise version. Price levels can be used for giving repeat customers a reduced rate on the invoices, for increased rates on customers that keep adding work they just happen to remember, and special rates for family and friends and employees. Individual items may also be marked up or down on your invoices, but the price level feature for individual items is available only in QuickBooks Premier and Enterprise versions. Once the price levels have been created, they will need to be assigned to your customers. Sending an invoice to a customer who has called you in on several occasions with a 15% increase in rates would not be a good thing. But once a price level has been assigned to a customer, QuickBooks will automatically enter that price level every time an invoice is created for him or her. To begin using price levels, you must first have them activated under the Sales and Customers section in the Preference menu. Be sure that there is a check in the Use Price Levels box. and click OK. To create a new price level from the Lists menu, select Price Level List and you can use either Control N or the Price Level drop-down menu at the bottom and select New. Name your new price level something that will tell customers exactly what it is without being insulting if it is a price increase. For instance, a discount can be something as simple as my favorite customer or thanks for coming back. But an increase for a problem customer needs to be discreet. So it might read extras or miscellaneous charges. If you offer some kind of service plan to your customers, it could be named just that, service plan, or another for any sale or reduced rates could be monthly special. You can also differentiate your prices by type of customer, residential, industrial, and commercial. After you have named your price level, there is an option to choose a price level type. The options are fixed percentage, or a per item discount or increase. Be careful here because once the option has been set and saved it cannot be undone. Next you choose an increase or a decrease and then the percentage of the change. Lastly, you have the option to round the price level. Here, there are many options from no rounding at all to the rounding to the nearest dollar minus some pennies.
If you choose a per item in the price level type field, you have other decisions to make. You will be presented with a list of everything in your item list and the option to assign the new price level to everything in that list. Or you can pick and choose. Which items get the price level applied to it? In the Adjust Price of Marked Items to B field, you tell QuickBooks a percentage for the adjustment and whether it will be higher or lower. In the field that reads Than It's, you can tell QuickBooks if the adjustment will use the standard price, the cost, or the current custom price in making the price changes. Then select a rounding option. When you have finished choosing which items will use the price level and how these items should be treated, Click on the Adjust button. You will see the new price displayed in the Custom Price field for that item. You can make changes to the percentage and the items selected until you are satisfied with the results, but every time you make a change, you will need to click the Adjust button again to have the changes applied. To remove an item from the list, you must remove the new price from the custom price field manually. Then select Adjust and click OK when done. Close the price level window to return to the home page. With your newly created price levels, you can now link them to your customers. Open your customers and jobs list from the customer center. And select the customer's record from the list by double clicking. Under the payment settings tab, in the price level field, select a price level for that customer. Or you may add a new price level now. Price levels may not be created in an invoice. In that case, the best way to give a customer a price reduction or increase is to manually adjust the price in the invoice. Then, when the invoice is saved and closed, add the new price level to your price level list.